So here we are in the main dining hall. It's a temporary structure here on the Athletes Village in the Olympic Park. Uh, it's a 24-7 uh, dining hall and they will be serving 60,000 meals a day. Yep, got a range of foods from across Europe, the Americas, the Mediterranean. As we see here, the best of Britain as well. And no eating venue would be in the Olympic Park would be without its McDonald's as well. And there you can see a McCafe and a McDonald's just by the size of that. 25,000 loaves of bread, 232 tons of potatoes, 75,000 litres of milk, 2.7 million bananas will be consumed in the village. In this, as I say, temporary structure, 5,000 seats. Some would say that's bigger than some football clubs. So we're here right in the heart of the residential athletes village. There are 11 separate athlete apartments across 36 hectares, although it still is one of the most compact athletes villages. There's Westfield uh, in the distance. One of the most compact athletes villages in Olympic history. So as well as these apartment blocks and TVs in them, uh, there are other things to do in the park, probably after you've completed your Olympic competition. And this is what they're calling the Globe. It's the main entertainment venue for athletes. State-of-the-art cinema, computer games, music kind of thing. The all-important deck chairs to enjoy the rare London sun. Well, it's quite nice today. And then the all-important Connect Four game. So this is what one of the uh, rooms in the Athletes Village looks like. The sofas, 9,000 of these wardrobes and the beds as well. 28,000 of these specially designed duvets. And I mentioned earlier that there were two beds, up to two beds, athlete sharing. And I'm told as well that there are bed extensions which they add on.